There we go. I spilled like a whole tub of ketchup in my hair. Oh, it sounds so posh then. I've got a couple. I look ridiculous right now. And oh my god, I sound like a psycho stalker now. No one cares about my love for David Tennant. I didn't even sip my tea because it's still so blooming hot. Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am doing my autumn night routine. It's really weird sitting here, I feel like I've done so many DIY videos recently that I haven't actually been doing proper sit down videos so I'm really excited to do this. I'm just going to basically go through what I tend to do sort of like after dinner to the point where I go to sleep. My chill time in the autumn season. I say it's the autumn season but I mean it's not that much different to what I do in the spring and the summer either, but slightly different. Yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and I really hope you enjoy this video. So what I'll first probably do when I decide right to the evening, it's time to get my evening sorted. I will first take off my makeup as I just, I just want to get it off in the evening. I don't want it on. I just want to chill and I want to be cosy. So first I'll take off my makeup and I will either use a cleanser. So here I've got the Florence Mills cleansing gel. I've actually been loving this. The Florence skincare, oh my God, the smell of some of the stuff is so yummy don't recommend eating it. Or, not gonna lie, if I'm feeling lazy, I will just use some cheeky makeup wipes, which is probably what I'm going to do now, simply just because I don't have access to water here. So this is the less messy option. And these ones are so good. They're the micellar wipes, and I get these from Primark. And I think you can get like two packs of 25 for like a pound. Bargain. So I'm just gonna take my makeup off. There we go, that's all my makeup taken off, baby faced and all. And then the next thing I will do is get in my pyjamas, get into my cosies and around the autumn winter time I'll probably pick some more like long sleeved cosy ones. So I'm just going to go and get into them now. So there we go, I'm absolutely obsessed with these pyjamas. I got them from um, ASOS last year, I'm pretty sure, and they're just beautiful. If I'm feeling like extra warm and cosy, then I will put these on as well. I think I got these from HomeSense or TK Maxx, and they're just these super thick, fluffy socks. So fluffy. There we go. I would not recommend sleeping in these, as you will turn into a microwave. Every other day, I pretty much wash my hair but um, I did wash my hair last night, so I didn't wash it today, but I will just go through my hair with a hairbrush as it's very knotty. And I feel like being a gal, you know, you brush your hair and an hour later it's knotty again. So that's the life we live if you have long hair. I felt like that was even harder than usual because um, I spilled like a whole tub of ketchup in my hair earlier at McDonald's. Relatable? Never done that before. It's not nice. Okay, and then at this point, when I'm like in my pyjamas and more bare face, I'll probably do just like a little bit of skincare. I'm not gonna lie, this varies from day to day. Sometimes I don't do any of it. Sometimes I go to town. If I'm having a bath, I tend to go to town, do face masks and the whole lot. So I've just grabbed a few bits here, just for like a day to day. First, I'm gonna use this Milani lip scrub. Love a lip scrub as I'm always biting my lips. You can eat all lip scrubs, right? Because I was definitely eating that. That's yummy. <laughs> By the way, I was in Boots today. Sorry for my UK watchers. I was in Boots today. They had Lime Crime, Milani, Physicians Formula, and they had BH Cosmetics and Beauty Bakery. Like, what is happening in Boots at the moment? I feel like some American beauty brands are making their way over and I'm living for it because I've literally been saying for years, why aren't these American beauty brands here yet? Like, surely that's the next step for beauty brands that aren't here to be here. Next, I've got a couple of, oh, it sounds so posh then, I've got a couple. <laughs> so I've got the Kylie Skin Moisturiser and Eye Cream 
and I'm actually obsessed with these. I've been using these so much. I got these, I think a couple of months ago. I pretty much got them when she first came out with them and I'm not gonna lie, I've been dying to try more of her skincare out. If anything, more than her actual makeup products, so I definitely need to buy some more because I kind of love it. I've also got the Florence by Mills Dreamy Dewy Moisturizer. I've only used this once, but I thought it was super nice. I might actually use this because obviously I've only used it once, so I don't really know completely what I think of it. I also got the uh, face wash, which I've also been loving. I just love Millie Bobby Brown. She's one of my favorite people in the world. I think she's the cutest. And yeah, I'm not too much into the makeup of Florence by Mills because I feel like it's really targeted towards younger peeps. So it's quite minimal, it's quite subtle. But skincare on the other hand, I'm all for. Ugh, I didn't even say, did I? So many of her products. Like the thing is like, it has a watermelon scent. I look ridiculous right now. It has like a watermelon scent, which is so, yummy and I love it. Why don't I have a mirror here? I'm gonna use the Milani lip scrub <laughs> lid. <laughs> I mean I have a million mirrors. What's wrong with me? Okay, take a vote. Is this dewy? I mean it is, but I feel like every moisturizer is kind of dewy, isn't it? I don't feel like it's especially dewy. Oh, it is quite dewy. Oh, you know what? I love it, it smells good, it feels really good. My skin does feel quite glowy. I do feel like most moisturizers are quite glowy though, so I'm just saying that. I wanted to get the eye cream from her, but I apparently I don't have that yet. But it's on my wish list, so I'm just gonna use the Kylie one for now, which I'm not gonna lie, this needs to be cleaned. <laughs> also have these two Drunk Elephant products, which I still always love to use. It's the Polypeptide Cream and the Whipped Cream Creme Faux Fouette. <laughs> and these are minis, but they're doing me just fine because I can't afford the full size products. These minis are decent. Um, so you know, like they often do those gift sets with minis, like they possibly are worth it because they're decent size, you know. Is there such thing as too much skincare? Let me know. Oh, I've got pins and needles. I always get pins and needles when I sit here to film a video. Ugh. Just gonna do some stretches. <laughs> right, not gonna lie, I'd probably now make a cup of tea or a hot chocolate. I at least like to have two or three cups of tea a day. Here's my cup of tea in my cute little pink elephant mug. I got this from Urban Outfitters and you can get it in grey as well and I kind of want it. I love that it has like a little biscuit holder for my little bourbon. <laughs> so cute! Well seeing as my tea is too hot to drink and also I can't really do anything else until I've drank it, I thought I would answer some questions because no one cares. I'm gonna google some questions! Google Q&A questions. Favourite holiday, beach, mountain or city? Mix of beach and city. Do you like scary movies? I did until I watched Annabelle. Oh, that's not true. The pre-Annabelle film, that one scared me. Last film that you watched, Shrek 3. Sadly, I have to admit. Do you like roller coasters? I love them. And I feel like most people would think maybe I'm a wuss, but I love roller coasters. The scarier, the faster, the better and to be fair usually I find it hard to find someone to go on them with me I feel like I'm usually surrounded by people who are scared by them are you a dog person or a cat person I feel like at heart I'm both but currently a dog person I've been changed changed for the better changed for the sassos who has left the most impact on your life oh no that's way too deep Ugh. do you prefer Titanic or the notebook the notebook hands down what is at the top of your bucket list i'm pretty sure it's the same as it always has been since i was in year four and it's to meet david tennant the sad thing is it's one of those things where it's like i want it to happen and i don't want it to happen because if for example he was doing some meet and greet i know that i would get like five seconds with him and that like what if he doesn't smile at me and what if he just rushes me through it and then it's ruined and oh my god i sound like a psycho 
stalker now. I kind of don't want to meet him because I think I have high expectations. If you know what I mean. Oh my god, I've been talking about this for way too long and no one cares about my love for David Tennant. What would your dream holiday be? I think it would be sort of going all around America. I would love like a super long holiday where like you spent like a certain amount of time, you know, going from like New York to LA to Miami, like exploring everywhere. I think that would be so cool. But like I'd want a decent amount of time in each place so I didn't feel rushed. What film do you love the most? I love About Time and 10 Things I Hate About You. I think I'd say those are my top two maybe. Oh, I also love The Notebook. <laughs> what song do you love the most? I could tell you what current songs I love the most. I'm loving Selena Gomez, Lose You To Love Me, Cruel Summer and Lover by Taylor Swift, and also Paper Rings and London Boy. <laughs> I also really like Rotten To The Core and Chillin' Like A Villain from Descendants. My little sisters made me watch all three of them, binged within like a day or two, I think. And now I'm a little bit obsessed with Dove Cameron. Beforehand, I just knew her as that girl that was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I sort of recognised her from that and Descendants is really cool. I think it's a really nice film series. It kind of like, I feel like it's it's their ages High School Musical, if that makes sense. Possibly. I mean, who am I to know? Maybe it's not. Favourite TV show? Of all time, Friends. Currently, Riverdale or American Horror Story is what I'm currently watching. I am going to sit here and watch some YouTube and finish this cup of tea and um, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> Hello. Late evening. Had my cup of tea. Not gonna lie, feeling very sleepy and cozy right now. <laughs> I'd probably basically get any last minute uni work done, anything I hadn't got done that day, get that stuff finished. And then if I have anything that I've filmed that I want to start editing, I will also do that, edit a thumbnail, start editing my videos. I usually have like a to-do list for the week or the day of stuff that I want to have done. So I'll just go through that, make sure all my uni work, video editing, filming, anything like that. Make sure I'm happy with what I've accomplished over the day. And then most days I'll FaceTime my boyfriend for about half an hour to an hour just before I go to sleep. And that's pretty much it. Set my alarms if I've got somewhere to be the next day, or I might not, and just hope that I wake up. <laughs> and then yeah. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit of a weird video, like it was an autumn night routine, but I was sort of threw a bit of a Q&A in there, sat here drinking my tea for who knows how long. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.